best and worst part of being a triathlete. I just like feeling fit. I just like feeling healthy. I think that's the best part. I think feeling fit and then, yeah, just being able to travel. And I I'm honestly not like the, the world traveler who wants to go see other places. But then once I do go places, it's way cool. Worst part is probably, I have to say no to a lot of stuff. And I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. There's a lot of things that I'm like, oh, when I'm done with triathlon, um, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Who is up and coming in the sport and someone to watch? I honestly still put myself in the up and coming because I feel like I've had some good results, but you have to have like multiple years of good results to really solidify. I mean, you too. I feel like I didn't know about you until like last year. All right. No. I'm not offended. <laughs> yeah, okay. like I, yeah. And then I saw your results and I'm like, oh wow, she's good. <laughs> well, I have been good the last couple of years, but so maybe... Maybe we are in that category. I think it takes a few Even years. Even though I've been um, racing for like a, what feels like a hundred years. I know. It takes a few years of being really good to the, for people to finally think, oh yeah, that person's good. Yeah, that's true. You have to like first like get into the club or something. <laughs> and stay in the club. And then stay in the club. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't really know... I mean, we haven't raced at all this year. I don't know who I would say is up and coming anymore. It's going to be interesting to see when we do race, who's been doing what training, who's fitter, who's not. I wonder if there's some people who we won't even see come back to racing after all this, you know? Yeah, it's possible. Head to head, just me, you, and the race course on our best day. Who wins and how does it pan out? I win. Um, <laughs> it's tough because we're pretty close. I think we would probably come down to the run. Maybe, but now I'm in good bike shape. So we probably swim together-ish. I catch you on the bike, drop you for the first time ever, <laughs> and then just have the run of my life. 116. Woo! Just kidding. Probably more like a 117. That might do it, but that's assuming you pass me on the bike, so... I know. How is your elbow since your accident? Is it back to full mobility? Here's my elbow. I'll give you a nice... Close up. Ooh. Can you see that scar? Yeah. And I'll show you, it's never going to be straight again. That's me oh, no. pushing it straight. And That's a straight <laughs> on. Some people, when I show them, they're like, I can't tell. I'm like, trust me, it's been. It's as good as it's going to get, I think, mobility-wise, but it's totally functional. It's not stopping me. And, you know, sometimes I have, like, weird twinges. My entire arm just atrophied, like, all the muscle, pretty much, like, top to bottom, just atrophied. Oh, and, so you're um, telling me I can beat you in the swim now. <laughs> no, I'm swimming as fast as I've ever swum. But, oh. um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, think of how much stronger I'll be once my muscle all comes back. Because I can still oh. see, uh, like, my forearms, they're just, they're different sizes. Like, I'm totally functional, totally as strong as ever. But, yeah, it's different. Like, it's a new me. I feel different. <laughs>